big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching i will need to platform from thank you so much and i do really appreciate your time once again this video i'm driving your attention to ghana blasters come um you know ghana blasters tomorrow they're gonna play friendly match against um uganda in marrakesh morocco that is 26th of march tomorrow so the game is going to be a very difficult game guess by that it is international friendly match the reason why i'm saying that it's going to be a difficult game because um uganda they lost their first game um to comoros by four goals to zero so they will be coming into the black stars game with um high expectation hoping that they're going to win the game against the black stars to prove their fans um wrong out there so that is the reason why it's going to be a tough game ghana blasters also lost their game um against nigeria by two goals to one so um i'm going to be driving your attention to my possible starting lineup like always against uganda um as well right here on the winning unity platform but please let me take your time a little bit whatever you are watching the winning unity platform any part of the world and you want a lot of things right here in europe particular spain intercorp is the right company for you you are here in europe and you want to shift a lot of things back to africa or you want container to buy intercorp is the right company you are in africa any part of africa and you want a lot of things right here in europe particular spain right here intercorp is the right company you do not need to be wasting your time coming right here in spain you guys need to contact intercorp and get a great deal you own the ship as well and you want to come to spain for maintainers for your vessel and you want shipping agency to supply you a lot of goods intercorp is the best shipping agency company to give you any goods that you want in your vessel so please pick the number on your screen and get much more information you can also visit our website as well so very quick one um my uh, certain lineup like always i'm gonna be four two three one okay four two three one wait you can see that on your screen as well so starting from the post um i will be going for loris atiziki once again okay i will be maintaining loris atiziki this game is a must win game ghana black stars have to win guess by that it is a friendly match with it is not going to be easy like i said earlier on uganda lost their first game four goals to zero against Comoros. ghana also lost their first game two goals to one against um nigeria so both coaches will really want to improve and impress their 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 fans and their country and also um their job as well so for that reason like i said earlier on loris atizigi in post i'll be changing him and bringing um another goalkeeper in in the second half but we will get into that so let's focus on the certain lineup for now the right back i'll be going for tarek lamte um to, to my personal opinion tarek lamte really impressed me when he came second half against um Omonaja, that is nigeria ali Risiri also did very well he in my certain lineup we will get into that um the left back the left back i'll be going into maintaining patrick pozo um the reason why i'll be choosing patrick pozo ahead of um ebenezer anan is discipline wise if you check um the check you you check the league of uh Beneza anan he play about 21 games uh no go okay let me give you a very quick one yes um ebenezer anan ebenezer anan play 21 games no go two assists and five yellow card meaning he's not that much disciplined um you know i spoke about jerono poco before um that the last my possible certain liner that he always um got yellow card so he have to be very disciplined against nigeria at the end what happened he end up getting red card so discipline wise i'll be maintaining uh, patrick pozo patrick pozo play 25 games no goal two assists and two yellow card and when you come to the center back mohammed salasu um train pass for some days now so for that reason I will be putting Mohamed Salasu on the center back alongside Ali Risiru. Oh yes, uh, do not be surprised. A lot of people are going to say, "Well, but Ali Risiru is not a center back. He normally play uh, right position, the right back, or sometimes 
even the left back. Uh, but he does uh, one of his game in the French league, French league one, um, some two games, and even the French cup he plays centre back for the club side. So Ali Rizeri performs both the right back. He sat from the first half and the second half when um, Tarek Lamte came in for uh, Patepozo. Ali Rizeri was the man that played the left back. Ali Rizeri can play. The center back perfectly. The reason why I will not use, you know, Edmond Ado was the man that played for a, the, the center back, and he's not, he's the midfielder. So I'll be using, instead of using uh, Edmond Ado for a for a left back, I will use a prefer Ali Desiru. Ali Desiru is a kind of player that the, he's have this kind of zongo eyes strong, and he can mark some players boot to boot. He's not kind of very slow player. So he can play for the left back. We have defender like um, Kasim Adams. Kasim Adams would not be in my starting lineup. And the main reason is, I do not know the reason why a player that play a Bundesliga in the whole season, he gets only kick only one game. He gets only play once. And that month that he play, he do not start just a few minutes on the second half. The whole season. So far, German Bundesliga remaining, I think, if I'm right, what are 8 matches or 9 matches or 10 matches? It is not even up to 11. It is somewhere 9 or 10 or 8 matches remaining for the German Bundesliga to finish. And if that player is really, really good, no matter how bad that player is, it should have even get in a playing time, even maybe 8 matches or even uh, uh, 10 matches. He's not injured, meaning the player, do, the coach of... Um, his club do not see any good in him so why set of player have to be getting playing time in black stars this is the reason why some of our players like fred Den fred uh, uh fred uh duncan or something like that in Fiorentina, he retired from the national team based on this kind of problem because knowing very well that playing day out day in in coming into the national team and player that do not even get singing playing time in the club side and that player will be playing and you are sitting down in the bench so i, I watch kasim adam matches almost more than four or five times and the guy is not improving so for that reason i will not be starting him on my starting lineup but i knew that otoado probably going to start kasim adam but this will be my possible starting lineup so ali Rizero playing alongside uh, Mohamed Salisu and the front the front two I will be going for um, Salam Abdul Samet um, Salam Abdul Samet controlled the midfield very well against Nigeria he did very well and he's going to be there alongside uh, Fosin Amankwa or Amankwa Fosin sometimes depend how uh, people want to put it so the the two players that will be partnered right there, um, Salim Abdul Samet for Sinamankwa, and the front three, I will be going for Fatao Isahako. This game is must win, yes. And as Noma did very very well, really impressed me to be honest. But the main reason why and as Noma will be coming second half, I'm 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 bringing and as Noma simply because of. Um, Ibrahim Osman Ibrahim Osman so NS, NS Nema will not start the game I will start Fatal Isahako for the for the right wings and the left wings I will be going for Ibrahim Osman also to see uh, because you and I know that when they come to some tough games NS Nema will always start so for that reason we already knew what NS Nema can bring to the national team when he's in the field. So I would like to also see how uh, Ibrahim Usmano also going to play. And he's a uh, left as well. He's going to play for the the left the left wing. So yes, Ibrahim Usman for the left wing. And I will be bringing Andrea Yu to play for the number 10. A lot of people going to say, well, if you are building a team, why do you need Andrea Yu in your starting lineup? Well, the main reason why I need Andrea Andre, you starting lineup, you notice clearly that Jordan, are you not going to be on my starting lineup? So you need a, a senior player that will lead the team for the Andrea. You just play him for the first half and let 
substituting on second half. So no Jordan are you and Rue you becoming as a captain leading the team. And because when you check that there's a lot of young guys in the team and my starting lineup, most of the the players here they are young. So you need some senior, senior player right there. That is why Andre you gonna be in my this certain lineup leading the team. And as usual, like you know, Antonio Semenyo will be the man to lead uh, Black Stars attack. So the changes will go like this. Um Loris Atizigi will play for the first half and Jojo Wallacott will come in the second half. And when it, the defenders uh, Ebenezer Anan will be coming in and Patrick Pozo will be coming out. Okay. And the same defenders Dennis Odoy will be going in and Tarek Lamte for the right side will be coming out. Then when you go to the uh, the midfielders or the wings, I will be bringing um, Ibrahim Osman out and Edmond no Noma NS Noma will be going in for um, Ibrahim Osman. Okay, and the right wings I will be putting Osman Bukari Osman Bukari in then Fatou Isahako will be coming out okay that will be uh, then number 10 Andrea you will be coming out for the second half and Francis Abu will be going in to replace Andrea you because Francis Abu is typical number 10 as well so he also need to come out and we see what he can do on the second half for Andre Yu. Then, because of ghost wise, Antoine Semenyo, maybe somewhere 70th minute or even 80th minute, if there is no mass goals, then Antoine Semenyo will come out for Andre Yu in. So, that is my possible starting lineup for Ghana Black Stars, which you can see it on your screen. Um, what do you think about this um, possible starting lineup? That is my personal opinion. I'm not a coach. Like I always say that when I put those um, possible starting lineup here, um, just understand me that I'm a proud Ghanaian and I also have my right to express my my opinion when it comes to the national team, what I feel that uh, it could help Ghana and all of us. So do not always say maybe you are not a coach. Yes, I knew that I'm not a coach. And you knew that as well, but as a Ghanaian that passionate about football, passionate about our country and everything, I have the right to express my opinion when it comes to the national team. So what do you think about this possible, uh, possible starting lineup? Once again, if my voice is not coming right, um, just forgive me. I have a little bit cold and I'm trying to, um, you know, we love the game. We can't um, go without, especially when our national team is playing. We have to always be here and let you know what is going on around black stars so um like i said this will not be otoado certain liner i knew that otoado will not go for this certain lineup maybe probably otoado will be going like a certain lineup like this this will be otoado certain lineup okay so possible so thank you very much um, once again, for always watching a Winnie Unity platform, um, I really, really appreciate you, whatever you are watching me from, whether you are watching me from Ghana, Nigeria, personally, the US, um, you guys are doing a great job because you're always watching a Winnie Unity platform. I'm seeing you guys um, always watching a Winnie, Unity, a Winnie Unity platform in the United States of America. Um, big thumbs up to you guys all and ladies back in United States always watching a Winnie Unity platform in UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, Belgium, Holland, um, any part of the world, Gambia, uh, any part of the world that you always watching a Winnie Unity platform. So thank you once again and 